Well, as events were unfolding in Paris, there was drama in Calais' so-called jungle refugee camp as well, because there was a fire taking place. Now, people don't know whether the two were connected yet. It's too early to tell. The investigation is still ongoing. However, residents are afraid, so much so that the family that lived in this house moved out this morning. They said that they can't stand the situation any longer. The men who hang around the house, that they prefer to leave. They have three kids. Paris and here, it's part of the same story. The migrants talk a lot on the telephone. They are always communicating. They use the Wi-Fi nearby. I think it's all connected. While residents worry that all these properties will soon be deserted, inside the jungle itself, people are becoming increasingly suspicious of one another. Uh, probably maybe from 20 countries they hire, from everywhere in the world. Uh, people here, we don't know which one is a dash, which one is a right person. But uh, the last, from last night, we're all nervous in here. Well, this is the Kurdish part of the jungle. All the families living in these tents fled Islamic State terrorists in Kurdistan. Now, they are perhaps the most worried by the fact that Islamic State are now committing acts of terror just several hundred kilometers away. I speak to a group of Kurdish men taking shelter from the rain. He said that the Daesh do it to me. That's why I left the country and he was army that time, Iraqi army. If the Daesh is here, we don't want to stay here. Maybe we're running away. We're going to the safer place. You know what I say? We, because uh, now the Kurdish people like have a fight behalf uh, all the world. We have a fight with the ISS, Daesh, behalf everyone in the world. The man interprets for his friend, who tells me that he was in the Peshmerga, the Kurdish military forces, currently fighting against Islamic State terrorists in Iraq. We go to Calais centre, but the streets and restaurants are almost empty. Normally, Saturday night is our busiest. Now it's deserted. The people here are afraid because of the migrants here and the situation in Paris. Reports that some of the Paris attackers had Syrian passports and travelled through Greece is adding weight to the arguments of those who allege that there are extremists in Calais. I think you have them there. I think so. What happened in Paris could happen in Calais. All those people, with all that misery, they come here and we help them. But they are shooting at us. This is a major problem. While tourists avoid Calais, the migrants continue to arrive at a rate of around 100 per day, stoking fears that this town is no longer safe. Polyboyko RT, Calais.